lot of times it's Jordan Boris Bad TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Tuesday the 8th of March with a 7.45 p.m. kickoff as the Boris take on Sheffield United in the Starbeck Championship at Bramall Lane. But for our fans, we certainly carry the good momentum that we had against Spurs in the uh, FA Cup uh, round, this round. Um, and we carried it over to the league with a 2-1 win over Luton at the Riverside this past Saturday. Um, got a good start. We were awarded a penalty uh, midway, about like early midway for the first half as Rob Allardyne was brought down in the box by Luton Town's Lee Spurk. And Paddy McNair converted coolly from the spot to make it 1-0 uh, to Borough going into half time. And throughout the game, you know, Luton did have a fair few chances to, uh, you know, to equalise uh, before we netted our second. And more, more notably, Cameron Jerome had a couple of good chances, but more than lucky enough for us, uh, Joe Lumley was equal to both of them chances to pull off some good saves. Um, we eventually uh, killed off the game um, near enough midway towards the end of the, end of the game when Duncan Watmore uh, came off the bench. Um, and like usual, he does what he does best, uh, getting the... Uh, Grabbing the goal for us to make it two, uh, to make it the insurance goal. Uh, Luton did get a consolation goal uh, um, late on the game as well through Harry Cornick, um, Nick, um, but it wasn't enough. We came away with a win, and it puts us in a good position in the league going to this game. We're currently in the playoff places in sixth place. Um, we go to this game as well with uh, one of our games in hand as well, and um, it's been the first time as well for Chris. Our boss Chris Wilder will be, will be returning to familiar ground um, against the club where he uh, had a brilliant spell as a manager and also it's his boyhood club as well. So the extra pressure on Wilder, but no doubt he'll handle it well tomorrow. And uh, there's three points we so desperately needed uh, to get us up there because, as I said, it's one of our games in hand. So on to the game as well. Um, we know as well from Chris Wilder's press conference that Riley McGree is still a doubt. For tomorrow's game due to his knock, um, we're hoping fingers crossed he'll be back for the upcoming uh, away games we've got after that coming up because we've got this is the first of our three successive games on the road uh, with the cup game against Chelsea as well, slap bang in the middle of it, and then we find out we're away again in our next fixture after the international break. But that's another story for another time. So, in the three successive, successive away games we have, um, we're hoping that Ryan McGree will be back for the next one, which I believe is Millwall. So, uh, yeah, it's no loss. So, um, hopefully he'll be back for that. Um, we found out as well earlier in the week that Martin Piero will hopefully be back before the end of the season. So he'll still be out for a while, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, in the next few weeks, Piero will, will be back with us. And obviously, like I said before in the last video, it's good to see Mark Bowler back in the fold as well. Um, he did fully recover now from his knee injury that he picked up a few months ago. Now we're going to our opponent, Sheffield United, who are currently... Uh, Place below us in the table, so the as it is, this uh, extra spicy game tomorrow, as they're currently seventh in the league, just a point behind us as well. Uh, the record going into this game is played 34, won 15, drawn 10, and lost 9. Um, last game out for them was a 1 0 draw at home against Nottingham Forest. Um, last time we played Sheffield United as well, um, they were under Savinsky Ivanovic, but that's now not to be the case, of course. Um, he got uh, sacked, I think it was believe, around November time, and they replaced him with Paul Heckenbottom, which I believe is the second term in charge, because he actually took charge, believe it or not, um, temporary charge, after Chris Wilder left him. So he's uh, probably their go to man at the minute, but um, he's doing well for them so far. It's got them in a good position because um, last time we played Sheffield United, they were uh, mere down in the dumps under the academy, so. It's um, good to see them back where they are now, fighting amongst the playoff places after being relegated last season. And uh, they've got a pretty good squad as well. Um, more notably, Billy Sharp, uh, for his hometown club, the Evergreen Billy Sharp, I should say. They've been coming on strong for them uh, under Hecking Bottom recently. But a place to watch out for as well. Um, Sander Berger, who I believe is a quality Premier League midfield player, has been doing well for them. Also, Morgan Gibbs White, who's on loan from Wolves, he's no doubt he's been. He's going to be up there with the Championship Player of the Season uh, contendership this year as well. Is the um, midfielder on Rotham Wolves. Um, John Flack as well, who uh, recently had a health scare a couple of months ago. Um, off while playing, actually, you know, but it's great to see him fighting fit and back playing again. Um, Rich Norrington Davis as well, as another promising young uh, left wing back. Ilman and Dye as well, another promising young player. And um, 
We've got the likes of John Egan, who's a rock heart at the back as well, and Les Fodrigan in goal as well for Sheffield United. So they're a pretty strong side of the Blades. Um, there's no surprise that Paul Hackerbottom has got them going in the right direction again, going towards uh, Championship for the playoffs again. But hopefully, um, come, to, come tomorrow, it won't be at our expense. Um, as I said last time we played Sheffield United, they were under Savisi Akanovic uh, back at the Riverside. And we beat them by two goals to nil. I remember a wonder goal from Duncan Watmore set the trip, set the uh, game alight. And then Paddy McNair with another decent finish to make it 2-0 for the player. But usually our record at Bramall Lane isn't great by any means. I think uh, the last time we won there was quite a couple of years ago. In fact, I couldn't remember when, but it was around then. But it has the potential to be a spicy game, obviously. Uh, we were due to play this game on New Year's Day, but um, it got put back due to our problems with COVID. So it has the potential to be a very good game, very good atmosphere. Like I said, Chris Wilder, back on familiar ground. So we'll see how uh, tomorrow pans out in this late kickoff. Obviously, it's on the red button as well for those who are wondering if it's going to be on TV or not. Just so you know that. Anyway, leave me your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below. But if I'm still forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, our social media links will be in the description below. Obviously, uh, I apologise for being a bit uh, late with the preview tonight for the fans, obviously, because uh, I had a fair of fans earlier on the day, so this is why it's going out uh, a bit later than usual. But um, it'll be back to normal uh, for the next few ones, I will promise. Anyway, um, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV. I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game on Saturday, the 12th of March, as Borough continue their three game road trip. So the trip to the capital as we head to the den to face Millwall. Until then, take care, stay safe, and up the borough.